this is Mike from Red20. Uh, I haven't been in front of the camera for a long time, there's a good reason for that because I'm useless at it. Um, I'm going to try to do this in one take and I want to talk to you today about the R450 Spider Quad. It's a new frame that we've just put into the store. Um, so what is it? It's a 450mm Spider Quad. You can see it's a spider configuration. It's actually only very slightly off of an X, um, so you won't need any special mixing in your flight controller. Uh, we designed it to be a competitor with something like DJI Phantoms or your 450 Dead Cats, anything in that size. It was designed purely around FPV gear and the Taro 2D gimbal for the, for the GoPro. Um, and, and yeah, that's where it came from. Now, most important thing is I wanted to get as many features as possible into it because I know from my experience with the R220 that you guys love um, configuring these things and making them work for you. Um, so you can see on the V1 we've got the uh, NACE 32 Acro board mounted. Now it's got a, a hard point mounting um, pre-drilled holes for NACE CC3D size but also KK2 size. What it's also got is option to add an anti-vibration plate for your APM NASA style flight controllers. For camera mounting, we've got, uh, of course, the hard points for the GoPro gimbal, um, but we've also got M3 holes to mount your cased FPV camera either on top or below. Um, and we've also got holes available so that you can mount uh, a Mobius style vibration plate either on top or below. Um, so yeah, you can set it up exactly how you want to. Now the frame has got all the features that you would expect from one of these. We've got holes and slots for mounting everything from your receiver, your video transmitter, your batteries, um, even holes for um, GPS poles if you want to fit those. Um, the one cool feature is because it's only a very thin um, flat plate design is that wherever there's a, a mounting hole on one plate it's mirrored on the other plate but wider so that you can actually fit screws and get screwdrivers in after the event so you don't have to think about these things while you're building it. Um, we provided a standoff kit so there is a bit of a gap in between the plates if you want to try and squeeze something like a power distribution board in there although on the V1 I actually just use a, a four-way breakout cable um, and then some GST leads to, to power everything. I just kept it as simple as possible. Um, yep, uh, motor mounts are slotted M3, so it'll fit any of your standards like 28, 36 mil, or 36, 35 mil cans. Um, and and yeah, so the configuration on this one is just something I whipped out of another. 440 size quad, so it's the NTM 1100kV motors with the 9 inch props and the 30 amp Multistar speed controllers running the modified Multistar Hex Simon K. Um, that, yeah, it's okay, that's a pretty good setup. Um, it will also run the 9 inch props, and I'll, I'll sh not the 9 inch props, sorry, the 10 inch props. And I'll show you. 10 inch props do fit, um, although if you can be using one of these cool little antenna mounts just be aware that the 10 inch prop will clip that so you'll need to find a, a different method. Uh, battery wise, yeah battery's just held in place by a strap on the bottom so you can fit whatever you want. I've been flying this one with 3600 on it, um, but you know I've got loads of things to try. There's a 5000 there, there's a 4.5 nanotech, I've even got one of the 5.2 multi-stars that I might try out. Um, match that with this one, could get a long flight time. So yeah, so that's the frame. Um, how much are you going to pay for it? Um, well, as with any Red 20 frame, we're going to do it in three different materials. Uh, for those of you on a real budget, we've got the, the G10 fiberglass. It's good, a bit flexible, still all right. Um, that will cost you 106 US. Uh, in the 3K carbon glass, that's the G10 core with the carbon fibre veneer, that's what a lot of people call carbon fibre, that'll cost you 152 um, I've been flying this one in carbon glass for, for a while now and there's no problem, it's pretty solid. Um, and then the, the real deal, the, the Taiwan carbon fibre, uh, will set you back $212. Uh, and I've talked about this stuff before, this is not your normal carbon fibre, this is bulletproof. 
Um, it is absolutely rigid. I've had people comment to me how rigid this stuff is compared to other um, carbon fiber frames they've had. Um, that's the matte. I've also got the um, twill gloss coming as well, so it's going to look awesome in that. Um, and yeah, I'm, you know me, everything is cut to order uh, in the workshop, so if you want it customised, just drop me a line. If you don't want to fit the tarot gimbal, if you want to fit something different, let me know. Uh, measure it up and we'll see what we can do. Normally if it's just a case of moving a couple of holes around, it's not going to cost you any more money. Um, and of course don't forget that those prices include um, shipping anywhere in the world and of course taxes in Australia. Uh, so there you go, R450 Spider Quad. Um, yeah, get one, it's awesome, much better than a DJI Phantom. I'll see you later, bye bye.